Hello guys, and welcome back to this final episode of Katana Zero. You guys are uh, ready for what's in store. Let's get started. Breathe a sigh of relief there, holy crap. That was uh, a little, a little rough. Alright. Oh. Freaking near school shooter. Wait, there's something down there. I use that. Oh. 
100% use that. Oh, I, no chances. No chances in the game over here. Okay. Ah! Well, I'm dead. Sometimes you automatically pick it up without warning. Other times you don't. I thought oh, I thought it did. Oh, I forgot about using the cleave. There. Nice. Okay. Oh my god. Nope! He gave me that time. I would have gotten killed there. Oh man. Whew. Okay. Got to do that. Unscathed. Clearly, first try. Ah, you've arrived. I was hoping we'd be able to finish what we started. This should be fun. No left. Now Cosine paid me and Kronos to kill people. That's why you're here, right? Kronos? There's none here. I don't know where Al Cosine is. Quet kept his, but it's not here. There's almost none left. Certainly not enough for both of us. I'm not here. I'm not here for Kronos. What? 
Why else would you be here? There's nothing of value here. Nothing. This killing, this fighting, has been for nothing. Useless. You enjoy it, don't you? Killing. The immorality that Kronos gives us. The failsafe of time. That's why killing means nothing to us. Because we, because when we die, we always go back. Killing is the only time we're able to touch that thing we were never able to have. This fight will go on for until one of us surrenders. I do enjoy killing. I don't have a choice. I kill for Kronos. We're gods, you and I. I've died and come back, watched time expand into the infinite miracle of possibility. We have no limits. We are immortal. But we're slaves to the small-minded men who use our gifts for parlor tricks. Slaves to the goddamn drug. And here we are, two junkies fighting over the last hit, damn it. We don't need to be enemies. We can work together. There's not enough Kronos, damn it. We couldn't work together even if we wanted to. I'm sorry, it has to end like this. But we don't have another choice. But maybe there's enough Kronos in your bloodstream to slow down the withdrawal. Did I just end it like that? Kill. Kill the people who did this to us. For me. You're suffering. Access denied. Retinal scan required. Open the door. Those goddamn hippies in the first district were bitching about the child killings. Everything in him is telling him to kill the child. No. Not again. What are you doing? Your targets are still alive. What the hell have you done? Do you understand what you've done? I... I haven't been able to reach my daughter all day. My phone. Why do I still have this? I... I can explain this. They won't come after me. I had nothing to do with this. You lied to me. No, I'm leaving. I need to leave. There's no time. I need to get out of here. You knew my dreams were real. What? What the fuck are you talking about? Service metal even real? Get the hell out of my office, you goddamn junkie! What are you doing? You're in withdrawal. Get away from me! You. After all I've done for you. <laughs> Stop! You can't do. You. I. I can give you all the Kronos you want. Just let me go right now, please. You're fucking subhuman.
body. Picked up new mecha government key card. Search suitcase. Chronos delivery. 3.30. Wednesdays. 20... 286th ring. New mecha special weapon lab. There's a dossier here as well. Subject zero. Null. Executioner class. Gamma Squadron. I value government contractor. Open for third party contracts. Must be eliminated discreetly upon questioning of role or gaining knowledge of Kronos manufacture. Process. Am I supposed to collect the rent if you won't let me in? This is a crime scene, ma'am. The man had no no next of kin. We're done conducting our search. Everything in the apartment is yours. Hmm. Fine. Who's this? He's a tenant. The room with the broken door is his. What happened here? Looks like there was a break in. Tenant's dead. Junkie next to you. Your place is broken in too. You can enter. Dude, I've been fucking wrong completely. One life for another. Broken door is coming out of your security deposit. <laughs> Did you see a little girl anywhere? Little girl. <laughs> there are no little girls here. Not my building. Not in the third district. Randy. Randy, check his apartment for weird shit. What little girl are you talking about? had a daughter. Where is she? Daughter? There are no children in this building. I make sure of it. Man lived alone. Kids in the third district. Yeah. Guy had no kid. He was a junkie loner. Mixed up in some drug business. <laughs> Sir, if you'd come with us, we'd like to ask you a few questions. Tell me where you're keeping her now. Put your hands up and get on your knees, now! I'm blind, nobody's gonna get hurt. How was the dispatch? We have a, a 452 in tenement, 298, medium build, male with a bathrobe and a samurai sword. Randy, he fits the profile. You think he's that guy? Seven years ago, there's Behemoth or Leviathan. Hide quickly, no soldiers. <laughs> Do this. I'll keep. This is zero. Target neutralized. Acknowledged. Zero. Fifteen. Return to base. If anyone gets in your way, you know what to do.
<sighs> well, game by Justin Stander. Justin Stander? He did a fucking great job. This game is fucking amazing. I think it's just one guy doing, doing that. And then getting help with the music and stuff. Other things. Man, what a. What a game. It's like. Oh, wait, forgot about this part. D is dead. Gamma 15, sir. I see. Then we will soon need to wage open war with the government. I'm... I'm not even 100% sure how to put into words, but... Everything about this game is just... Everything about it is just really good. I like the story, how, you know, how grim dark it is, and all the, that kind of thing. The music is amazing. The gameplay is phenomenal. I'm looking forward to, you know, whenever the DLC comes out. Oh, well, looks like there's, uh, there's the Dragon 15. Looks like there's still some people left. A lot of, man. So, the DLC is supposed to come out, and I think... From what I think I've heard, it's supposed to wrap everything up, but I'm not sure. There's supposed to be, I don't know how much more, you know, they said X amount of content was supposed to be added, but, you know, the guy working on this, he ended up, like, keeping work on it, and he's, like, really, like, putting all this stuff in, and, oh, wait, <laughs> watch how she squirms, tragedy. <laughs> For not dear comedy. Oh, woe upon woes, what baleful end awaits her? Hmm. Let's make it fun. And that's it, that's the game. So, there are, uh, oh, about the DLC that's supposed to be coming out. Uh, it came out, or it hasn't come out yet, I wish it came out. It's supposed to be about. Her, her like six times bigger than orig than originally planned, and so that's just gonna be that's gonna be awesome. I, I've seen uh, some like small clip of it from Twitter by by the guys uh the guys Twitter, and things are looking good. Uh, more you're gonna get to see more zero action in the future, but uh, man, definitely a great game. There's there's some. Some people try to speculate whether or not the, uh, the little girl is actually real or not. Uh, some people try to say that it's a like a fragment or uh, some part of Zero's uh, subconscious or some hallucination he's having that's supposed to represent his, uh, his conscience and morality and that kind of thing. And uh, I, I, I guess I could see why people do uh, would think like that, but I'm not personally. When I played through, I, I, I didn't. All that. I mean, if it comes out in the D in the DLC later, then sure. I, hey, I'll I'll take the game over speculation, but I, I think I think she's actually real. But concerning tragedy and comedy, those guys, that's not I'm not 100 percent sure there whether they're real or. I don't think they'd be ethereal, but. This game, they, they certainly show that this game, that uh, this world has a bunch of, you know, crazy stuff that goes down, and, uh, you know, especially with the the whole, uh, the whole Kronos uh, stuff going on, being able to pre, you know, have precognition and all that, which, which apparently, you know, as as shown in the game, uh, at different times, there is a. No, uh, it's not 100%, especially when coming against other gnolls, and, I, you know, I honestly don't know how they're able to, like, surprise you, like, those uh, behind-the-door explosions, 
So it shows that, you know, prone, like, uh, the Cronus abilities that you get on, uh, not 100%. Why is it called drug tape? DRG? Or is that supposed to stand for something else? Dragon! <laughs> Duh. I thought it was drug. Oh, this here, Government Lab. We ended off, uh, going to bunk the But this, Government Lab. This is where you get to see, uh, all the extra stuff that you, that you got. And I think I forgot to point everything out. This is the one that I was, that I was using by accident. Uh, not the standard kind of. Here, let me, let me put it back. Same. Wait. Wait. Alright, let's see if it's, let's see if it's faster or slower. Is it slower? Oh my gosh, I'll be playing the game on hard mode. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that seems kind of the same. Uh, Sword of Masters. I forget how you get this one. I'll point it out later, maybe. Uh, the Legend of Zelda reference. This here, the Savant Knife, Short Blade, Extremely Quick Attack. Yeah, it's short alright, but this Yeah, kind of go, yeah. Claymore. Ah, uh, yes. This is what I was using for a long time. It's a lot bigger. And you can. Shotguns? Don't hit. Yeah. You just cleave through bullets. Phoenix Edge? I like this one. This one's kind of cool. Fire. Seems like yeah, it seems a bit slower, but man, it's uh, it's nice. It's pretty nice. Let's uh, forgot to do this the whole time. Oh well. But, yeah. Oh, I'll go back to some seats. And this. Locked. I should come back in a few months. That's supposed to be for, you know, the DLC. Yeah, anyway, uh, that's, uh, that's it for the game. Uh, you can play through it differently, and there is a, there is a secret boss that you're able to get. You gotta do a few things that kinda, a well, little, little tricky. Not, not, not too, not too bad. But, yeah, anyway, that's, a uh, that's it for this, uh, this playthrough of, uh, Ton of Zero. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, well, I hope, I hope I, you know, feel the urge to keep on uh, making other recordings of other games, and man, I will definitely, when the DLC comes out, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm playing through it. I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll be able to do it blind from then. So, maybe you guys might look forward to that, but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you know, good. Bad. Anyway, with that, I'll catch you guys in the next LP. See ya.